Greetings from the Timson Powers International Study Centre at Boston College. It's a pleasure to have this opportunity to talk about what TIMS 2019 tells us about students' awareness of environmental issues. TIMS 2019 was a comprehensive assessment of mathematics and science at the fourth and eighth grades. To learn what the TIMS Science Assessment tells us about students' understanding of the environment, we constructed environmental awareness scales at both grades. This presentation is in two parts. I will begin and talk about results from fourth grade students, and I will carry on with the eighth grade results. TIMS 2019 assessed a wide range of topics as specified in the TIMS science framework. These include the use and conservation of nature's resources, the interdependence among habitat members and ecosystems, the causes and consequences of pollution, the changes and impacts on, imp on habitats by different climates and various cycles in nature. In this presentation, we will focus on items that relate to human activities that can harm or benefit the environment, such as deforestation, improper disposal of waste, using renewable energy instead of fossil fuels, and planting trees to promote sustainability. At the fourth grade, the environmental awareness scale consists of 33 items from a total of 175 science items. And the eighth grade scale consists of 41 items from a total of 220 items. The fourth grade scale is based on data from 53 countries and the eighth grade scale on 37 countries. Here's a snapshot of average achievement on the environmental awareness scale for the fourth grade. The majority of countries had scores above the Tim's center point of 500. Korea and Singapore were the highest achievers, followed by Chinese Taipei, the Russian Federation, and Finland. Only 17 countries held below the Tim's center point. This slide provides an overview of gender differences on the environmental scale of fourth grade. The good news is that in most countries, there was no difference in achievement on the environmental awareness scale between boys and girls. Average achievement for girls was higher than boys in 10 countries, Bahrain, Oman, North Macedonia, Albania, Morocco, Kosovo, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Latvia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. In contrast, average achievement for boys was higher than for girls in only three countries, in Germany, Italy, and Singapore. I will now present some example items from the fourth grade environmental awareness scale. Example item one assesses students' understanding of the dangers posed to native animals by plastic pollution. An estimated 10 million metric tons of plastic is dumped into our ocean each year. This item asks students to state one reason why plastic objects in the ocean are dangerous to sea life. To answer correctly, students should describe how the plastic bag can be mistaken for a jellyfish and eaten by the turtle, or how the bag could get tangled around the turtle, disrupting its breathing or vision. Students demonstrate a solid, solid understanding on this item an average 61% of students provided the correct answer. Chemical pollution is a global issue that threatens food production and human health. Example two addresses students' knowledge of how improper disposal of industrial waste can affect agriculture. Students are asked to provide a possible effect of releasing factory pollution into farm fields. Correct answers include that the soil will become bad, that crops and plants will not grow or will die, but that animals and people who eat the plants may become sick. Fourth grade students had relatively lower performance on this item. On average, 43% answered the item correctly. Widespread use of renewable energy instead of fossil fuels is on the rise, providing sustainable resources that do not, that do not produce harmful emissions. Example three targets students' understanding of how using renewable resources, such as sunlight or wind, to generate electricity can be better for the environment than using fossil fuels, such as oil and gas. 
Correct responses explain that either sunlight and wind are renewable and will not run out, or that converting sunlight and wind to electricity does not produce harmful emissions that cause air pollution and global warming. Unfortunately, only 23% of students on average gave a correct response. Example four assesses students' knowledge of how deforestation destroys animal habitats, driving some species away and disrupting the natural food chain. The item describes how a population of hawks left an area after people in a town cut down trees to build their homes. It asks students to explain why the number of mice may increase after the trees are cut down. Correct responses explain that mice had fewer or no predators after the hawks left, allowing their population to grow unabated. Fourth grade students also demonstrated difficulty in answering this item. On average, only 23% of students answered correctly. And now, Ina will present the results for eighth grade. Thank you, Mick. This slide shows eighth grade students' average achievement on the environmental awareness scale for 37 countries. Country's average achievement was almost evenly distributed with roughly half the country scoring above and half below the Tim's center point of 500. Singapore and Chinese Taipei were the highest achievers, uh, then after GAP, Japan and Korea. This slide provides an overview of gender differences on the environmental scale at eighth grade. Average achievement was higher for girls than for boys in eight countries and higher for boys than girls also in eight countries. The eight countries where achievement was higher for girls included Oman, Bahrain, Jordan, Qatar, Egypt, Finland, the United Arab Emirates and South Africa. The eight countries where achievement was higher for boys included Portugal, Japan, France, the Russian Federation, Italy, Chile, the Republic of Korea and Hungary. Now I am going to share results on some example items. Urban agriculture initiatives are becoming increasingly popular. Example item five asks students to explain how rooftop gardens in cities can reduce greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Correct responses included either explaining how plants in roof gardens absorb carbon dioxide or how roof gardens provide insulation for buildings, thus decreasing energy needs. About half, 48% of the eighth grade students on average provided a correct answer. Reforestation helps the environment in many ways, such as mitigating climate change and promoting the health and social well being of humans and animals. Example item six measures students' understanding of how planting trees can benefit the environment. Eighth grade students were asked to list two benefits with correct responses, including any two of the following trees can help prevent desertification and erosion. They are for shelter and food to animals. They reduce carbon dioxide and increase oxygen in the air, and they promote biodiversity. Eighth grade students had difficulty giving two benefits of planting trees. On average, only 38% of students answered correctly. Example item seven, assesses students' knowledge of how farming pollution can create algal blooms, which lower oxygen levels in ponds 
and can lead to aquatic dead zones. Similar to the item about roof gardens, on average, about half, 52% of the eighth grade students recognized that farming with a lot of fertilizer can cause algal blooms. The final example item targets students' understanding of how a greenhouse gas, in this case methane, can impact the environment. More than half the students, 54% on average, recognize that increased methane in the atmosphere from melting permafrost can contribute to global warming. Thank you for your attention. We hope that by examining international environmental awareness through TIMS, educators and policymakers can learn what students know and understand about our planet and what they need to know to meet the challenges of the future. The health of our planet depends on upcoming generations that can be leaders in a global society prepared to protect our environment and well being. <laughs>